While you were taking in the pressure of Jack Dorsey being both CEO of Square and Twitter, you probably missed the crowdfunded rocket, self-driving big rigs, and swimming robot bees. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where you can get into Space Week by looking at every moon photo taken by a NASA astronaut, all in one handy Flickr account. Just in case you didn't have enough reason to fear our new robot overlords, Harvard researchers taught a swarm of robotic bees how to swim. The tiny robots only weigh 100 milligrams, but have already shown they can fly and hover in the air by flapping their wings at 120 hertz. But unlike their biological counterparts, Harvard's bees can also dive into water and propel themselves along with the same flapping motion, just more slowly at 90 hertz. Being so small, the robots do need a bit of help getting into and out of the pool, but with future modifications, Harvard should have a runaway style kill swarm of its very own. <laughs> For those of you with our Space Week fever, I got him! Great kid, don't get cocky. Here's a Kickstarter that will help it along. If you don't count NASA tax dollars, Project Moonspike would be the first ever crowdfunded rocket to the moon. It's a mission that would send a 350 pound spacecraft carrying a one gram titanium spike with a couple terabytes of user data. Skeptical? The engineers have posted the entire feasibility study online and they're asking for one million dollars. So you know that's legit. <laughs> Here's some news to freak out your big rig driving kin. Automaker Daimler tested out a self-driving truck on public roads on Germany's Autobahn 8. This Mercedes-Benz Actros truck was rigged up with Daimler's semi-autonomous highway pilot system and everything went boringly fine, really. It steered itself using a combination of radar, stereo camera arrays, and adaptive cruise control. The pilot is reliable. It doesn't get tired. It doesn't drink and drive. OK, all right, rub it in our faces. One tiny little obvious hiccup being that laws in the EU and the US, for that matter, have not caught up to self-driving anything. They had to get special permission for this crude, but hands-free, run. And finally, remember the guy who put up post-it art in his office? Well, after some months of splendor, it finally all came down with a leaf blower, which is way more fun to watch than you'd think. We'll see you for even more weird tomorrow. Bye.